Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about the formulas and the important concepts of number theory, guys. So basically, in this chapter, we are having only few topics, guys. So we can expect a problem on GCD and any one of the theorem, guys. We have got three theorems in the ending, right? Chinese, Permits, and Wilson's. So among them, we can expect one theorem for five marks, and we can even expect a problem on them for five marks. And we can expect a GCD problem for 5 marks guys. These are all the things that I expect for the exam. And rest things will be for 2 marks guys. Normal GCD, LCM, prime factors, definitions, everything will be for, for 2 marks mostly. So division theorem is nothing but x is equal to q, y plus p. Where x and y are the two integers. So x will be divided, q will be coefficient and d will be y will be divisor and p will be the reminder. So arithmetic modulo is also similar to this where a mod n is equal to r, we'll be writing the reminder as the result. So a is equal to q n plus r, that is reminder, where a is the dividend, q will be the coefficient, n will be the divisor, r will be the reminder. So in a number system, we learned about two binary number, base 4, base 8, base 10, base 16. Okay, so you need to learn about those conversions, even if we are lucky, we'll be giving fine numbers, or he'll be giving one to the problem that we discussed. One, two, three, four, five. Convert it into base one, base two, eight, sixteen, like that. If he gives for five marks, it's possible like that also, guys. So even there are some problems we have discussed about GCD. We used the division method, and at the end we wrote that the linear equation in terms of result. The final GCD is equal to the value of x into a plus b into y. In that format, we found the result. If you remember, I think I did it. So I think you also remember the it. Okay, so we also gone through congruency of integers a triple equal to b mod m. From this we can write m is equal to a minus b. Okay, that's a proof, guys. So Fermat's theorem is nothing but a power p minus one is equal to one mod p, and Wilson theorem is p minus one factorial is equal to minus one minus one mod p, where p is the prime number, guys. So the, in these two cases, we will be having a confusion that which formula to use when you have a prime number. So if there is a factorial or like 14 factorial by 17, say me the reminder. If in that situation, we will be using this and in any other situation, we will be using the above. So I hope everyone is now 100% clear with this chapter. So now we are left with one more chapter probability. In the next set of tutorials, we will be going to cover that chapter. Thank you. Thanks for watching.